Here we'll take a look at adding fractions. So here we have an example, 3 over 5 plus 1 over 7. So when adding fractions, we must have the same denominator before we can add them. You can see here, the denominator in the first is 5, the denominator in the second one is 7, so we can't add these fractions yet. The first thing we have to do is find the lowest common denominator. That's a number that 5 and 7 will divide into even. So it starts off for finding the lowest common denominator, we write out the multiples of 5 and the multiples of 7. So 5 is 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, and so on. For 7, 7, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, and so on. So what we do is we pick out the number that's common to both. So the first number that's common to both, if we analyse it, we can see 35 is the first number that's common to both. So we're going to use 35 as our lowest common denominator. So we're going to convert 3 over 5 and 1 over 7 into whatever they are over 35. So 3 over 5 is equal to what over 35? So how we do it is, 5 into 35 goes 7 times, 7 threes are 21. So you divide the original denominator into the new one, and multiply your answer by the numerator. We'll do for 1 over 7, that's equal to what over 35? So we divide the denominator 7 into the new denominator 35, so 7 into 35 goes 5 times, 5 times 1. Is 5. So 1 over 7 is the same as 5 over 35. So that information gives us a new sum of 21 over 35 plus 5 over 35. Now that they have the same denominator, we can add these fractions together. So 21 plus 5 is equal to 26 over 35. And that's our sum completed. On to our second example. We have 1 over 4 plus 3 over 10. Again, they have different denominators, 4 and 10, so we need to find the lowest common denominator. So we'll write out the multiples for 4 and 10. So 4 is 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, and so on. 10 is 10, 20, 30, 40, and so on. So if we analyse these numbers, we can see the first one that's common between the two is 20. So we'll take 20 as our common denominator. So we're going to convert these fractions into what they are over 20. So 1 over 4 is equal to what over 20? So 4 into 20 goes 5 times, 5 ones are 5. Convert 3 over 10. 10 to 20 goes twice, 2 threes are 6. So 3 over 10 is the same as 6 over 20. So our new sum now is 5 over 20 plus 6 over 20. 6 plus 5 is 11, so our answer is 11 over 20. So the key thing to remember here is, you can't add or subtract fractions if they have different denominators. So find a common denominator, convert the fractions to that, and then you can add or subtract depending on what you're asked to do.